the Pulsar, Minecraft's first involuntary prison. Yet, we're going to be escaping it with only one person helping from the outside. Let's get into this. First, to infiltrate the Pulsar, you're going to need to build up uh, pretty high, actually, and you're going to need to start building a chunk ban missile. This should hit the Pulsar and ban the guard, but it has to be ju in just the right range where it'll ban the guard, but not the prisoner. This escape is, is just to assume that there is no optional guard. The optional guard would be on top of the cell, yet... I don't think there would really be one regularly because no one really wants to be chunk banned a ton. So I don't really think that the optional guard would be there co uh, very commonly. So this escape will work on most pulsars. Then you're going to send the flying machine at the pulsar. And then like a few days later, you're going to blow it up with TNT flying machines. And then you're going to fly to the guard area right here onto the one of the guard delivery stations and you're going to want to place a ZPI. This isn't to ban the guard. However, the main guard for the prison probably won't be getting on for at least probably 10 minutes, or maybe even a longer, because they don't know when you're going to uh, unban them. So you place it on a ZPI, which stops any guards from coming on that side to help. And then, because of the guard ZPI that they have, the guards can't rejoin and the main guard cannot rejoin so they're now stuck so now all there is is the prisoner and the escapist so what the escapist is going to do is they're going to build some kind of TNT machine or some kind or there some kind of machine to send a wither through the wall or just used eggs and or snowballs or arrows to hit the wither into the wall and then you're going to ender pearl once you've ender pearled in, you're going to place down an item frame. But we have to be careful, because there are still chunk bands. So once the item frame is down, you don't even have to worry anymore. So now what you want to do is just ender pearl onto a specific location on the main cell of the pulsar. Because if you're un if you just don't teleport if you teleport to the wrong area, you will be chunk banned. So we teleport to the right area, and now we're in an area where it's not chunk banned. We're now going to mine straight down because there are no Elder Guardians in this prison. This escape would be harder if there somehow were Elder Guardians, but there are not any. And if, they, if there were Elder Guardians, there's no guards, so you still could do this. So now you're going to want to get into the snow area from Ender Pearling from under the end gateway. You still can do this without getting chunk banned. Then you're going to want to break all the snow. And then you will see two pistons. You're going to break both of these pistons and be sure to pick up the cauldrons because these cauldrons, well, if the one does land on the pressure plate, it's not that big of a deal. Nothing's really going to happen. And yes. So now you're going to break the top and once the prisoner is there, they're going to ender pearl out. And then once they've ender pearled out of the cell into the non-chunk band area, then just use harming potions and kill the prisoner. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on escaping the pulsar. Make sure to like, subscribe, and press the notification bell. And I will see you all in the next one.